once you have ballooned a drawing, select the first characteristic, and I have OCR enabled, and click the characteristic properties box. This starts the OCR. And you will see that the information that I had captured previously is represented here. My dot per inch is 300. My scale and contrast look good since the data has returned exactly as, inspect, as I would anticipate, I wouldn't make any changes. Click Next to navigate to the next item. If you need to clean up any of the data, simply select the data to be eliminated, press Delete on your keyboard, and Next. Now this is a good drawing of good digital quality, and in this tutorial I'll show you some patterns that you may want to use when the data doesn't come across with the OCR very well. And click Next. Notice this is a linear and it applied the default tolerances that I had set up previously when I set up my TDP. I'll click Next. And again, these look good. Now this one, I had captured the word typical and it represents it as a note. In that case, use the cropping tool and crop out just the variable data. Do that again. Select just the variable data if you select too much information, and the default tolerances are applied again. If this were not a linear, you could change that information. Again, this selected it well, and again, well. To correct this, just select the data. And if you do not have an OCR result, enter it manually. And click the characteristic convert the conversion tool. This is a good opportunity to show you some of the various patterns. For example, if I enter just the value, and click the conversion tool, the upper and lower tolerances. If I enter the word DIA and click the conversion tool, it automatically makes it a diameter. If I enter the letter R in front and click the conversion tool, it becomes a radius. If you enter two values, the space and click the conversion tool, the range. Even if you enter a high number here and the minimum afterwards, it automatically places it as the min and max. You have 2x or, for example, three places. Let's do that, 3pl. Notice the number of places will be populated. Also, if you need to, let's put 4x here and DIA, the diameter, click the conversion tool, and you have four places and a range. To set up tolerances, enter plus, minus, 0 0.008. For example, click the conversion tool, and that is applied. So with a few adjustments, you can basically adjust this data. Additionally, if we want to, we could change the OCR settings a little bit. Just it, maybe making it lower it. Try the cropping tool again. Raise the DPI. And again, nothing works. So you just enter the data. Every drawing can be a little different. Let's try the next one. I'll try cropping it out. Maybe reduce the scale. That works. Decreasing the DPI. And again, just simply entering the data, get the best value, and click your conversion tool.
This particular feature is correct. However, it's a diameter. Press D on the keyboard. Feature control frame. Build it just as you've done here, 0.03. Maximum materials condition, and A, B, and C. B and C. Enter the values in each one of the cells, accept it, and click Next. Again, to correct this, just press D on the keyboard for diameter. And again, a feature control frame. Building that one more time, 005. And when you click this cell, it retains the previously entered datum, so you don't have to re-enter it. And OK. With a few changes, a few modifications, you too can adjust the OCR uh, and certainly recognize the various patterns, such as min and max.